Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you know when I drop my next one. You guys, we're going to get straight into this Real Housewives of Atlanta tea because word is starting to spread through some INS documents that are now being circulated online that Simon Gudebe, who is Portia Williams' husband, uh, was not only denied permanent immigration to this country, but his entire um, arrest record is literally being exposed now. Now, I did go online to find the records, and you guys, this is a complete mess. I don't know how this is going to hold up. I don't know what's going to end up happening. At this point, I'm actually kind of confused. It looked like he just left the court back in January with this denial motion and all of these receipts concerning not only his denial, but his arrest record. And let me tell you guys, um, it wasn't for no misdemeanor um, parking ticket. Um, anyway, you guys, we are about to look into this document. And like I said, as more information comes up about the situation, I will definitely be coming back one line. Now, you guys remember Portia married Simon Gudebe a few years ago after he was already with Fallon. And that caused a big uproar online. And I'm just going to say this. I don't know what's going on right now with this couple. And I hope that she didn't hear about this record when we did because, you guys, this is a complete mess. I'm also wondering, after reading this document that I'm about to share with you guys in just another minute, I wonder, could he actually be deported again because of this denial? Because it looked like this might be the second or third time he was actually denied. So... Like I said, I'm about to share these receipts with you guys. I definitely want you to comment below. Do you think that this might also affect Portia's husband, Simon, appearing on this show? Because honestly, I'm even wondering if he can even be filming. Like, I'm not sure. I'm still looking at these documents. Um, and like I said, I don't want to start any rumors. Let's just get straight into uh this document is very short just read along with me you guys and respectfully leave your commentary below this is said to be the documents for simon gudebe who is portia williams husband again this is his documents as you guys can see at the top this was filed January 11th of 2024, so this is a very fresh case that is now making rounds, and this is very short, and I am going to read it. It's calling him basically all kind of a scammer, you guys. Let's just get straight into this, and again, I'm only going to read the most important pages. The background, the case arises out of the petitioner's application for United States Citizenship and Naturalization, Doc 1, USCIS denied petitioner's application on June 27th of 2022, Doc number 1 through 4. Petitioner requested a hearing on this decision and the denial was reaffirmed, Docs number 1 through 3. The court derives the following facts from the petitioner's complaint and it's attached. The petitioner is a Nigerian citizen. They're talking about Simon Gudebe. His dock number is listed. Petitioner first entered the United States on August 11th, 1982. He overstayed his visitor's visa. However, in 1985, INS denied his application for adjustment of status. INS, you guys, is the immigration um, court system. He was declared deportable and voluntarily departed from the United States on December 28, 1985. 
He then re-entered the United States in June of 1986, so obviously he came back. Petitioner again overstayed his six-month visa. In September of 1987, the petitioner was arrested for bank and credit card fraud, oh my God, and pleaded guilty to felony offense. He was arrested in January of 1989 for unauthorized use of a vehicle, and again in May of 1990 for fraud. Thereafter, the agency began removal proceedings in January of 1991. Petitioner committed another felony offense, credit card fraud. An immigration judge held a hearing and ordered Petitioner be departed on March 4th of 1992, petitioner was deported and physically removed from the United States. Oh my God. Okay, so he has had a lot of felony cases. He kept getting caught. He kept coming back, apparently. I'm going to continue to read, you guys. There's only one more page pertinent to this. Before his March 1992 removal, however, on October 24th, 1988, the petitioner used a different identity to seek temporary residency status under the Special Agricultural Worker, SAW, program. He also did not include his criminal history on his SAW application. When his SAW application was approved with these misreputations and omissions, he was given a registration card as a temporary resident on July 25th of 1991. As part of SAW immigration benefits, petitioner's temporary resident status was automatically converted to permanent resident status following the waiting period. Petitioner received his permanent residency card on April 27th of 1992. 26 days after he had been deported under his other undisclosed identity. You guys, this is a complete fraudulent situation going down with Simon Gudebay, if that is actually his real name at this point. On December 22nd, 2016, petitioner applied for naturalization under his second identity and was denied because his temporary resident status was unlawfully granted. On December 31st, 2020, petitioner filed another application for naturalization. Following an interview with petitioner, USCIS again denied the petitioner's naturalization application, explaining that he was ineligible because he had not been lawfully admitted for permanent residence. His temporary resident status achieved through the SAW program and benefits had been based on a different identity and disqualifying criminal inadmissibility that was willfully concealed. On October 24th, 2022, the petitioners requested a hearing on this decision and the USCIS reaffirmed the denial of his naturalization application on November 15th of 2022. On March 13th of 2023, petitioner filed the instant complaint in the court and asked the court to vacate the denial and remand with instructions to grant petitioner's application. All right, you guys, so... This is basically explaining what is going on with Portia Williams' husband in immigration court. Obviously, there is a lot of questionable behavior going on. His application has been denied several times. He also has racked up quite a record while in the United States, coupled with using a fake identity. You guys, what do you think about this situation? like, share, subscribe, and I will definitely be updating this situation. Until next time, be safe, enjoy your night. Bye, guys.